Hi, my name is Matt Clary. I will be talking to you about Fibonacci numbers and how they are a natural phenomenon that occur in many places throughout the natural world. The intended age group is for students in year six, which are 10 to 11 year olds. Fibonacci numbers are a series of numbers where you add one number in the series to the next number in line to get the following number in the sequence. For example, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13, 13 plus 8 equals 21, and that will continue on indefinitely. The Fibonacci numbers are named after Leonardo de Pisa, who is also known by the name Leonardo Fibonacci. Leonardo de Pisa introduced the concept of this number pattern to the Western world during the Middle Ages. We see the Fibonacci numbers surprisingly often in nature, such as the amount of petals on a flower, seed pods in a pine cone, sections within a fruit, such as apples having five, bananas having three sections. We also see it on leaves on plants, branching trees. Humans and animals also have signs of the Fibonacci numbers. For example, starfish have five arms. Humans have eight fingers, five digits on each hand. Each finger has three bones, each thumb has two bones, we have two thumbs, one on each hand. One theory to explain, one theory to explain why Fibonacci numbers are so prevalent in nature is so that everything in nature can perform at its best when these numbers are present. For example, seeds in fruit or seed pods, they can pack more in if they fit into these number patterns, whereas if they don't. This allows more chance for the plant to succeed and grow. One interesting fact about the Fibonacci numbers is when you arrange these numbers as square blocks where the value of the number is value to the side length of this square and you place those next to each other, they create a thing called the golden rectangle, which you can see here. Okay, and then from this, if we draw a arc through each square, Okay, we get a thing called the Fibonacci spiral. Now this spiral is also very present in nature and can be found in things such as nautilus shells and even waves in the ocean. I'd like you to look around at your surroundings and just take note of how many places you can find Fibonacci numbers or can you find the Fibonacci spiral anywhere? Like myself, I'm sure you will be truly amazed at just how widespread Fibonacci's can be found and how much of a phenomenon in nature it truly is. Thank you for your time.